In the last lecture, we uh, studied uh, some mathematical concepts uh, which uh, will be utilized uh, for the study of uh, feedback linearization. Uh, in today's lecture, we study a few more uh, uh, things. These mathematical concepts will be required uh, for the study of feedback linearization. Uh, the first uh, concept is relative degree. Uh, if you have uh, a nonlinear system described by these equations, state equations and output equations, uh, then a relative degree denoted by rho, uh, this relative degree is uh, rho if u does not appear in the equations of y, it does not appear in the equation of y dot and up to the rho minus first derivative of y, this u does not appear and it appears in the equation of the rth derivative of y then the relative degree for that system is equal to rho. Rho is a number between 1 and n where n is the number of state variables. Uh, to elaborate this concept let's take uh, this example we have a nonlinear system described by these state equations so what we see is that u is not explicitly appearing in the equation of y. So let's compute uh, the next equation that is uh, the expression for y dot that is easy y dot is equal to derivative of uh, x with respect to time and this uh, is equal to x2 uh, by this equation. So again you see that u is not appearing in the equation of y dot uh, therefore, we compute the second derivative of uh, this output with respect to uh, time. So, here second derivative of y is equal to uh, x2 dot uh, which is equal to this, uh, this equality sign is missing over here. This is equal to uh, this expression and uh, you see that uh, u is appearing in this equation. So, u appears in the second derivative of y and it does not appear in the equation of y and y dot therefore uh, the relative degree of this system is equal to 2 relative degree is equal to 2 it appears in the second derivative of the output equation uh, and it does not appear in the first derivative and in the zeroth derivative of this uh, expression in other example we have this uh, nonlinear system. I think it is the same one. The only difference is uh, the uh, output is different. Here the output was uh, x1 and here the output is x2 for this particular system. And uh, we take the derivative uh, of this equation to get this thing. So u appears in the equation of y dot. Therefore, what is relative degree of this nonlinear system? relative degree is equal to 1 because it appears in the first derivative of uh, this output equation. In other example, so uh, what is uh, y dot? y dot is equal to x1 dot uh, which is equal to x1 by this equation. Uh, so uh, u the control input u is not appearing in this expression it is not appearing in this expression so what if we can compute the second uh, derivative if we compute the second derivative third derivative and uh, no matter how much derivatives you take for this y uh, u is not explicitly appearing uh, so you need to compute uh, up to uh, the nth derivative and even if after computation of nth derivative it does not appear then it means that relative degree is not well defined for this uh, particular system relative degree is not well defined because uh, relative degree is uh, between uh, 1 and n if it does not appear in the equation of nth derivative then you need not to compute the n uh, plus first uh, derivative of this uh, expression here is another uh, nonlinear system and uh, again the control input does not appear in the equation of y. Uh, we compute uh, the first derivative y dot is equal to x3 dot which is by this expression equal to theta x1 x2. Uh, again the control input is not appearing over here. 
we take the second derivative and second derivative is uh, 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 we can use the chain rule and uh, x2 dot is given by this expression and x1 dot is over here we make substitutions and uh, uh, what we see is that uh, here uh, we have uh, u is appearing over here but uh, uh, this relative degree is there for 2 relative degree is 2 but not in the entire state space it is 2 in this domain which is subset of this uh, state space uh, this domain is a uh, set of all the points in this uh, state space except this point because when x2 is equal to 0 this x2 multiplied by u so this u will disappear from over here uh, therefore the relative degree of this system is 2 but uh, not in the entire state space but it is uh, uh, 2 in this particular domain So relative degree this concept is I think clear relative degree is rho if u does not appear in the equations of y y dot up to the rho minus first derivative of y and it appears in the equation of rhoth derivative of y. There is uh, another way another uh, way to uh, write the same statement uh, in other mathematical way to uh, study that math mathematical expression. Uh, we look at uh, this equation uh, y dot uh, the derivative of y with respect to time is equal to derivative of this thing with respect to x and then derivative of x with respect to time so y dot is given by this expression where x dot is uh, given by these equations if we substitute this thing over here so y dot is equal to this expression so this uh, partial h over partial x multiplied by f of x what is this thing partial h over partial x multiplied by f of x this is basically the Lie derivative of h along f uh, and the second term is uh, uh, this uh, this partial h over partial x multiplied by g this is Lie derivative of h along g of x so this thing uh, written in another mathematical way uh, lf h of x plus lg h of x and this u is this one so if uh, relative degree of a system is greater than 1 it means that u will not appear in this equation that is uh, this term uh, this term will be equal to 0 if relative degree is greater than 1 uh, and in that case uh, this uh, uh, y dot is equal to lf h of x and in that case we shall need to compute the second derivative second derivative uh, of uh, uh, y which is uh, again uh, we take the derivative of this with respect to x and then the derivative of x with respect to time that is written over here and x dot uh, can be substituted from here uh, we get this relation so this uh, partial derivative of lf h of x uh, with respect to x multiplied by f of x what is that this is secondly derivative of h of x along f of x uh, lf square h of x and uh, uh, this uh, term multiplied by g of x that is lg uh, lf h of x multiplied by u again if a relative degree of a system is greater than 2 then uh, u will not uh, this control input u will not appear over here that is this term will be equal to 0 if relative degree is greater than 2 for a system or in general we can extend uh, the same concept uh, the uh, rho minus first derivative of y uh, with respect to time uh, that is equal to by uh, the same extension uh, extension of the same uh, concept rho minus uh, first Lie derivative of h along f of x you can compare this term with this term plus lg lf rho minus 2 h of x u compare this term with this one so if uh, we know that if a relative degree is rho then this control input will also not appear 
in this equation that is this term will be equal to 0 and uh, the uh, last uh, uh, this uh, rth derivative of y that is given by this expression again by a similar uh, uh, comparison and we know that uh, if rho is the lead uh, relative degree if rho is the relative degree of this system then uh, control input will appear in this equation it means that this term will not be equal to 0 so this is not equal to 0 so the another mathematical statement of uh, uh, this uh, th this statement uh, is that uh, if relative degree is rho then this term this thing this expression this will not be equal to zero and all these expression this one this one up to this one these expressions will be equal to zero if relative degree is rho so we write uh, this thing uh, in this way relative degree of a system is equal to rho in uh, this domain d if uh, uh, this expression is equal to 0 for all i starting from 1 up to rho minus 1 and uh, uh, this expression is not equal to 0 let's uh, elaborate with the uh, example we have this nonlinear system and now we want to apply this definition to study the relative degree of this nonlinear system. Uh, for that purpose, uh, we compute the uh, here. Uh, we uh, what should be i? I should start from one up to rho minus one. So first, we take i to be equal to one. Uh, i equal to one means uh, this expression uh, becomes equal to l g h of x. So we need to compute this thing l g h of x lg h of x uh, is equal to partial h over partial x into g of x its partial derivative with respect to x is uh, uh, partial derivative with respect to x1 is 1 and its partial derivative with respect to x2 is 0 and this is g of x it comes out to be equal to 0 and uh, so this is equal to 0 next we compute uh, for i equal to 2 for i equal to 2 this equation will be lg lf h of x so to compute this lg lf h of x we first need to compute lf h of x uh, so lf h of x is partial h over partial x into f of x this comes out to be equal to uh, uh, x2 and uh, we want to compute lg lf h of x so take its lead derivative lg lf h of x this comes out to be uh, non-zero this is non-zero so uh, what is relative degree relative degree for this system is equal to 2 for i equal to 1 this is a 0 for i equal to 2 this expression which is the same as this one this is not equal to 0 therefore relative degree of this nonlinear system is equal to 2.